this whole area of leaky gut, I still have trouble thinking why we think this is such a problem. Uh, because, you know, we're still in that, I mean, I teach at the College of Pharmacy and teach at the College of Medicine, and, and, and I still have pe trouble people thinking that, you mean the intestine because there's not a big ulcer, that it's a problem? If it's not ulcerated? Well, a great case in point. We had a, a, a woman in, actually the head dietitian at a hospital, pan colitis, getting ready to get her colon ripped out. Nothing's working, right? So we, you know, in her situation, it, it was obvious. Lots of holes, lots of blood, lots of bowel movement, 20 to 30 a day. Two months later now, she doesn't have the surgery. She's down to one to two bowel movements a day. Why? Because we understand that by eating the wrong foods and because she's under the chronic stress of being the head of a department and she tends towards being anxious as a Greek mother, right? And you guys saw my Greek wedding, right? I mean, is she a Greek? She's like worried about her son every day, you know? Uh, she got some issues with those tight junctions. And she's triggering a lot of histamine, and she's triggering a lot of inflammatory response in the gut. We neutralize, she's better.